Alrighty, what's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, in our last episode, we decided to go save a fellow Wingle of ours, and, uh, well, let's see, what else did we do? Oh yeah, we did teach, uh, Zigzag Goon Cut, that way we can actually go back down to the Petalburg Woods and, uh, to Mr. Briny, because we got a little bit of something, something to do. Yeah, we got, uh... Some mail to deliver, some parts to deliver. Yeah, we're delivery boys. Yeah. How in the heck did that happen? And, uh, well, I'm not going to be using any other Pokemon right here, so I'm going to go right here, sneak by the ex-girlfriend or the girlfriend, and she's like, Oh, hi, Draven. You had a match call feature put onto your Pokenab. Let's register each other so we can contact one another at any time. And, uh, well, we got her number. Alrighty. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Briny in the Petalburg Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex coming along, Draven? Mine's looking pretty decent. So, how about a little battle? Sure, let's go right ahead. You just became a trainer, Draven. I am not going to lose. I mean, I I became a trainer and still beat you. You know, very first episode. I'm just saying. Anywho, here we are taking on uh, Pokemon Trainer May. Our second battle against her. And she's going to be coming out with a low tad right here. So let's go right ahead and go straight for a wing attack. And that wing attack does its trick. That's right. Sea Blade doing its thing right there. And here she's coming out with a Torchic. So I'm going to continue on with Sea Blade. Look at that. Sea Blade. Go with your water gun attack. It's the jack of all trades right now. And if, you know, Torchic evolves into a Blaziken at some point, if ever. Yeah, look at that. Level, or I can actually use uh, both a uh, flying and uh, and water type attack. So yeah, all right, we got everything covered right there. And Torchic has been defeated. Alrighty, and just like that, our girlfriend's a little pissed. But you know what? It is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It is what it is. Okay, so oh, by the way, Mr. Briny, who I just passed. Draven, you just moved here, so you might not know who this, but Mr. Briny once uh, was was once a revered seafarer. Don't even know what a seafarer is. Okay, so let us move on right here. And now that we actually have cut on to Zigzagoon, we can actually do a few things right here, like cut these trees that actually look like trees, and bam, we're cutting some trees, and bam, there you go. We cut the tree, and we get ourselves a new item, which is an X accuracy. Thought it would be something greater. I don't know. And, uh, well, let's go back to the Petalburg Woods. And there is a little something something right here. Now you can actually go here. And... It is not... Well, it's, a, it's an easier way to get through this whole location. I'm gonna be using some repels because I really don't want to battle anybody else right here. But you will be able to find some other items. Let's go ahead and talk to this girl. And she's like, oh, neat. That's the badge from Rustboro Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item. And we get ourselves a Miracle Seed, which, well, enables a Grass-type Pokemon to get a little stronger right there. So, yes, it will be a little stronger. Now, there is an item right here. Bam. Got ourselves a Great Ball. That is always going to work for us right there. And uh, look at that, a shortcut all the way back down, and we're going to find a tiny mushroom. If you guys don't know what tiny mushroom is, it actually, you can actually se uh, sell that for a high price. And then, look at that, another X attack. Okay. And just like that, we get the heck out of there. We are free, and there, there goes a repel. Now, if you guys remember, this is Mr. Briony's place right here. All we need to do now is ma'am uh oh look at this look at this he's racing his wingle and talk to him mr briny's like hold on lass wait up pico hmm you're draven you saved my darling pico we owe you so much too what's that you want me to sail to or you where do you want me to sail hmm you have a letter bound for duford and a package for slaveboard then quite the busy life you must lead but certainly what you're asking is no problem at all You've got to, uh, you've got, you've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duford. Duford it is then. Anchors away, Pico. We're sitting sail, my darling. And there we go. We're gonna be, we're gonna be going right there. Look at that. Look at that. We are in the, we are in the sea. We are in the, 
Yeah, we're, we're going by, and unfortunately right now we don't have any kind of a, whatchamacallit, uh, surfing moves. But look at this, we're getting a phone call, and it's our daddy, and he's like, Oh, Draven, where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Devon's Mr. Stone about your Pokédex, so I decided to give you a call. It sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. And just like that, we get ourselves our dad's phone number. You know, this is the first time in a long time. Okay, so look at this. We are going through a lot of routes. Routes 105 to 6. And look at this. We have reached our destination. Here we are in Doofer Town. Ahoy, we've hit the land of Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter too. Who was it now? Steven? Yes, it is. Okay. So quite a few things about Duford. There really well, there's not a lot of stuff that you can do here. There is a gem, which we will be heading into. And uh well, let's go right ahead and talk to this individual right here. This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? Sure. I hear you, and I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. And there you go, we got ourselves an old rod. And he's like, and as an added bonus, I'll even throw a little fishing advice. First, you want to face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind. If you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you get to snag something immediately, but the bigger catch is you need to uh, time to, or you need to time the pulls on your rod to haul them in. Okay. Now, the cool thing about the the old rod right here is that, you know, it can actually, what was it called? It, it, it's not just for, what was it called, magic cards, but you can actually get tentacles here too. And I think there was a, there was a hidden item around here somewhere. Yeah, there was no hidden item. There might be somewhere. Okay, so let's see. First thing is first. Let's see. Where should we go? Oh, yes. Talk to... Uh, go in here because I think you'll be able to find somebody that can help you out. Gorge your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of fashion, yeah? Oh, I can see the eyes twinkling. Uh, you appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you're a delight. Here you go. I want you to have it. And there you go. We get ourselves a silk scarf. This, of course, will power up... Uh, what was it called? Normal type moves. Which... Let's see... Let's go right ahead and give our items to our prospective Pokemon. Uh, one of them being X-Boom. So let's go ahead and take away that Quick Claw for just the time being. Let's go ahead and get this Miracle Seed to Sage of the Halo. And, uh, well, let's see. It never hurts to actually use the Quick Claw right here to Sea Blade. I'm feeling confident in going into this gym battle right now. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go straight to the gym battle first. And then after that, we're going to be going into the other locations here in Doofer Town. So let's go right ahead and do that. The next gym leader happens to be Brawly, a big wave in fighting. That should say something right there. Now, here is something uh, weird. Here is something weird. It is dark inside. Now... The way you go about this whole place is you have to defeat a trainer every single time for the light to go up. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. The Pokemon Emerald has been uh, putting a little more emphasis in uh, in double battles, so you will be get, you'll be getting twice the battles right there. Now, now that I realize this, I got to switch out X Boom because yeah, you don't want a normal type in here. Now, talk to the only man that's ever believed in us. He's like, "Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Draven?" Doofer's uh, Gym Brawly, or Gym Leader Brawly, commands fighting style Pokemon, or fighting type Pokemon. Going against it with normal type Pokemon is asking for trouble. Fighting Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown on normal Pokemon's candy butts. But so be careful! What's worse, the gym is a, uh, as dark as the ocean floor. But it will get brighter after defeating a trainer in your way. Hey, okay, go for it. Okay, let's go right ahead and try and find some trainers right here. And that was not a trainer right there. And uh, let's see. No trainers right here. And there's one. Okay. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know. So here we go. Taking on Battle Girl Laura. And she's coming out with a Meditite. Now, Meditite right here is a very unique Pokemon because it is both a fighting and psychic type Pokemon right here best way to defeat Meditite is through a flying type Pokemon and one of its biggest things is it's uh what was it it, it likes to meditate like its name and all that crud and uh, well it likes to use special moves such as detect 
to block any kind of attacks right there. So let's go right ahead and use a wing attack right here. And there you go. Meditite has been defeated. Look at that. Okay. And, well, we have defeated Battlegirl Lara, and she is like, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can see, the light got a little bit bigger, and there are no Pokemon trainers right here, but always prepare for a double battle just in case. And that's what I'm going to try and do is fight all these, these double battles right here. And bam, here's one. Might is right, come on! Huh. It's a single battle. Never mind. Okay, so here we are taking on Black Belt Takao, and he's coming out with his Machop right here. And, well, Fighting-type Pokemon, as you probably already know, they are very, very physical. Going up against them with Rock-types or any kind of, uh, any kind of Normal-types is going to mess you up, and as you guys can see, yes, yeah, C-Blade is doing his, uh, his job right here. So let's go ahead and try it again. Wing Attack for the win. And bam. There you go. Look at that. Z-Blade growing to level 17. And, well, let's see. We have defeated Takao. And, well, it is now a little brighter in here. Again, I'm trying to look for the double battles right here, but I guess they took... Well, we're going to be going into two double battles, right? Or just one, I guess. I don't know. And, well, let's see. I see somebody there. And, look at that. Somebody has seen us. If you mean to pass, it will be uh, through me. Yeah, I'm going with a lot of uh, single battles right here. What the hell? What's going on right here? Okay, so Black Belt Christian coming out with his Makuhita. Here is a Pokemon that you have to be aware of. It is a very, very solid, very bulky Pokemon. And one of the main moves this gym has is Bulk Up, where it increases both its attack and defense. Plus, its Arm Thrust attack is a repetitive attack. Can hit you up to five times, so just be aware of right there. And, well... Seablade going for the wing attack right here. There you go. Makuhita defeated. That's how you do it. Okay. Alrighty. So there we go. And we had defeated Black Belt Christian. Seablade is getting some work right now. And, well, let's see. Well, there's Brawly right there, I guess. Brawly's right there, but I want to battle the... Well, I want to, I want to do the double battles. And there's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. Okay, whatever you say. So, here we go, taking on Jocelyn, and she will be coming out with a Meditite right here. Let's go with some Sea Blade right now, and well, here comes the Wing Attack. And there's that Detect Attack. Now remember, Detect, just like Protect, will, uh, it will get less accurate every single time the user uses it, so just, you know, be aware that, you know, it doesn't last forever. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead. Water gun attack. For the win! And there we go. Say goodbye to Meditite right there. And Battle Girl Jocelyn has been defeated. Alrighty, so Seablade's really kicking some butt right here. So, let's go ahead and battle these two individuals. We should have been battling them. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and use one of our regular potions right here. Now, another messed up part about this location in Duford is that there is no Pokemon, so you just gotta make sure to stock up over at Rustbro. And uh, as always, let's go ahead and take a look at Zigzagoon. He gives us an extra potion. That is great. Okay, so let's see what we got. Hoo hoo Are you stumbling around in the dark? I'll show you the gumption or the gumption of a sailing man. The gumption of the sailing man. Yes, I am learning some new moves right here. And, well, here we go, taking on Lilith and Brendan. Not Brandon, or Brendan, or anything like that. So here, she, he both, they come out with a Meditite and a Machop. And, uh, Meditite, you are looking uh, pretty fantastic right there. Can't wait for what happens next. So let's go with a Fury Cutter right here. Let's just progress this whole thing right here. Alrighty. Let's go, Fury Cutter. And, well, that right there doesn't really work but here comes a confusion attack right here and just like that we get a little bit of a hit so let's go with a fury cutter yet again and bam there goes meditite and what else are we going to be getting right here okay some more experience points fury cutter gets a little bit stronger 
not so effective, and uh, yes, this low kick is really working with us, so here we go again, Fury Cutter, I know it's not that strong, since it's a, 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 a what was it called, a, a fighting type Pokemon, but it does get more powerful every single step of the way, just remember, it takes five turns to get its ultimate attack right there, and well, we have defeated the double battles right here, and just like that, we, well, I guess we're ready. We are ready. We're more ready than anything right here. Now, normally, I would be having a Ralts right here on my team just to make sure that I defeat, well, I defeat Brawly and all that crud. But since I got our good old buddy right here, uh, Seablade, it will be easier right here, I guess, I hope. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. I'm Brawly, Dooford's gym leader. I've been churned into the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough in the pitch black cave. So you wanted to challenge me. Let me see what you're made of. I love this song right here, too. Okay, so here we go, taking on Gym Leader Brawly. And yes, he will be coming out with some fighting type Pokemon, one of them being Machop. And well, the best way to defeat these Pokemon, flying type Pokemon or psychic type Pokemon, both of them you can obtain before you get to Dooford. And uh, well, one of the biggest things that you guys have to worry about is that bulk up technique because like I said before it does raise up its attack and defense luckily for us yes we get a wing uh, wing attack off before it can even hit us and look at that level 18 C blade right here and here he comes out with a Meditite now this guy is interesting it is both psychic and uh, fighting type Pokemon it likes to use its special attack and what it's trying to do right here it's trying to tighten up its focus to hit us with the focus punch right here that's probably the only point or the only move it actually has, which is a big flaw for Meditite right here. So make sure to physically hit it every single time. Don't even try and lower its defense or anything like that. It will hit you pretty hard. And there you go. Seablade is kicking some butt, taking some names. And here comes a Makuhita. So let's go ahead and continue on right here. There is Makuhita, bulky as always, level 19. Wing attack for the win. And this Makuhita survives, and as you guys can see, it does its bulk up attack right here, which increases its attack and defense. So let's go right ahead and see what this happens. And well, this guy right here is like using a citrus berry to heal up. So let's go again, wing attack. And wow, it, yes, it has been bulked up. And here comes its vital throw right here. And that is uh, super effective right there, or not that effective. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go with the supersonic. That does not work. Good gravy. And here comes a vital throw. If you guys don't know, vital throw does not miss. So, yeah, that, that right there is going to be a tough one. So here comes a Sage of the Halo right here. And none of our attacks right here can actually do it some uh, some damage. If we try hitting it with a Fury Cutter, it's not going to get it. Uh, it's not going to get off until the fourth hit. So we're going to go with a Bullet Seed right here, and we're going to hit it multiple times. That way, it learns not to mess with us right here. And here comes a Reversal Attack. This holy buckets will hit us pretty hard. Let's go again, Bullet Seed. Hopefully, we hit it at least five times right here. There we go. Two, and that is how you do it, throwing out that peace sign. Yes, we love the struggle. We do. Suck it, Brawly. Suck it. Whoa, wow! You made a much bigger splash than I expected. You swamped me. Okay, you've got me. Take this gym badge. And yes, we're throwing out that peace sign. We are throwing out that peace sign. We can see clearly now. The rain is gone. And, and look at that. We got ourselves a Knuckle Badge. The Knuckle Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades obey without a question. And you'll be able to use this HM move Flash outside of battle, if you'd like to use the technical machine too. And bam, we grab ourselves a TM-08, which will be useful for any kind of fighting type or any Pokemon that you know, can use that capability. The TM-08 contains Bulk Up. It's a move that raises up both attack and defense stats. Hmm. And we register him in our, you know, Pokenav. Eventually, we're going to get a call from Roxanne herself. I can see your talent becoming a giant wave to cause a storm of astonishment among trainers one day. Yes, always with the puns. 
Okay, so that was a very tough battle, but we, I guess we earned that one right there. We really did, okay. So what's next right here? Talk to this guy. Whoa! It's turned too bright in here. Your future is bright too. Yes. Our future is very, very bright. Okay, so what is going to happen right now, guys, is I am going to heal up my Pokemon. And we are going to go north of Duford, and we're going to take, uh, take care of business right there. So I'll be right back with you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so here we are, guys, back in Duford. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the badges right here. Look at that. Two badges at all. Yes, I feel a little heavy right there on my vest. Yes, we feel good. And, well, now it is time for us to move north of Duford. And, like always, you know, we're going to be uh, battling some trainers. And what else are we going to be doing? Oh, yes. Yeah, we're going to be speeding up the battles, too, because, well, you know, these trainers are not too important. Let's go right ahead and start off with uh, Sage of the Halo right here. What do people do if they need to go to the washroom? What if my rod hooks onto a big one while, I, while, while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. Hmm, I think I can do it. I can do both. I don't know. Now, I think the washroom is probably <laughs> the bathroom and crap baskets. We're taking on a tentacle. All right, let's go. Super fast. Uh, you know what? Quick attacks right here. We are invincible. There we go. Sage is at level 19. That's how you do it, guys. Yes, the power of uh, Arceus compels you right there. And, well, let's see. There's a trainer right there. Before we go anywhere, we get ourselves a Stardust, which will actually help us out right here. And we need to go a little bit right here because uh, we're going to be finding ourselves a Pokeball. Yes. And uh, what else is there? Yes, we need to battle these guys. So, what's up? Which do you prefer, fishing in the sea or on the stream? I think both. I don't know, I fished on both a, a sea and a stream. And we're taking on some uh, some guy named Ilya, and he does have himself a lot of magic carp. So, let's speed this up a little. There we go. And he's coming out with a tentacle. So, let's go with X-Boom right here. It's been a while, guy. And bam, we've been poisoned, and he's coming out with a uh, magic carp right here. So, let's go right ahead and use another bullet seed for the win. That's how you do it. All righty. And, of course, after defeating this guy, he's like, Fishing's great, but it's so, uh, so is battling. If you don't mind, can we meet again? Yes. And you will be meeting, well, the guys that ask you for their phone number or whatever, they will be the ones that will want to battle you uh, repetitively after, you know, the Pokenav starts activating all that crud and all that stuff. And, well, here we are in the Granite Cave. And the reason why I defeated the gym leader first is because I wanted to do things the easy way. Talk to this guy, he's gonna be like, Hey you! It gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. That guy, uh, uh that guy who came er by earlier, Steven, I think it was, he knew how to use Flash, so he oughta, or he ought to be alright, but, well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. And, uh, well, look at that, we got ourselves the HMO5. Teach that hidden move to uh, hidden move flash to a Pokemon and use it. It lights up even the inky darkness of the caves. But to use it, you need the gym battle or you need the gym badge at Dufer's gym, which we already do. Now, I'm kind of going off on a limb right here. I think you can uh, teach flash to, yes, Ninkata. So that's what we're going to do right here. Ninkata has learned the flash technique and, well. Let's go right ahead and use it. Not right now. <laughs> Don't know why I did it right now, but here we are in uh, Granite Cave, and there are some interesting Pokemon that you can actually find in here, and I know many of you guys are thinking that, well, he is probably going to get Claymore. Not really. I'm not going to use Claymore here. I just want to get in and out, giggity, and uh, be on my merry way, giggity, giggity. And, well, here is the location you need uh, Flash, so let's go right ahead and press this flash technique right here and just like that the circle gets a little bit bigger and well we're gonna be seeing a lot of things now unfortunately we can't go through here because you do need a poke or you do need a uh, a bike to get up here I, I think a mock bike now let's go right down here found ourselves a pokeball and yes now Pokemon you can find here Auron is one of them. Mawile is another Pokemon that you can actually find in here, believe it or not. And, uh, yeah, Sableye. You, uh, I think Abra? Or Kadabra? I don't know. Yeah, I could be wrong. And, uh, yeah, Zubat. This is another Pokemon you can actually find here, too. The usual Zubat. And, uh, that is not what we're gonna do, so let's go ahead and use another Repel. And, well, let's see. 
Hmm. Let's see, are there any items right here that can actually help us? Probably. Now, here are some boulders where you can break up. Unfortunately, we do not have Rock Smash just yet. You can actually find some interesting Pokemon right there, too, at run at random. And we go right up here. And... Oh, hold on just a sec. There we go. Click this, and there you go. Got yourselves an Everstone. And... Well, let's see, is there anything else? No, there's not. So, well, let's go right ahead and continue finding some other stuff, some random stuff right here. I'm looking at these boulders right here, and yeah, there's no random stuff. Okay, so here we are in the second portion of the Granite Cave. Still don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. I will be catching these guys afterwards. And, well, here we go. Let's go right ahead. And look at that. There is Steven Stone. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a ladder for me? Draven handed over the ladder? Yes, we did. Okay. S uh, okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that? I need to thank you. Let me see. I'll give you this TM. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. And there we go. We get ourselves... A TM-47, and, well, your Pokemon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you could even become champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know since I've gotten to know each other, or since I've gotten, or I know that, or I know since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in our Pokenavs. And, well, there we go. Got another guy. Yes. We got another, uh, another phone number here. Now, I've got to hurry along. Okay, see you, Steven. Anywho, let's see. There's nothing right here. Could be wrong. It could be the first to discover, but there it is, guys. We have completed the Granite Cave, and uh, that completes our little visit right here in Duford. So, the next episode, we will be going into Slateport City, and, uh, well, let's see. Is there anything that I want to talk about going into Slateport? No. Just uh, keep your eyes peeled for something, uh before we get to Slateport City. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.